I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my subscribers and viewers for posting excellent question. This particular video is for my student and subscriber Jasmine. She wants to understand probability. So we will take few examples based on spinners like the ones shown here. So in a spinner you have a circle, some numbers written and there could be a pointer, right? So there could be a pointer which I have just made here. Now we'll actually concentrate on three types of questions. The first one is, what are the possible outcomes or results? So whenever you perform an experiment, in that case, there are some outcomes and results. So, so that is what we mean. Now here, the experiment is to spin the spinner, right? So that is what the experiment is. So when you spin, where will this pointer be? Those, pos those are the possible outcomes, right? Second question will be, how likely it is that a particular result will occur? So we'll specify what we are looking for. And then the third question will be, what is the probability of an event? Now, probability is favorable outcomes to total number of outcomes, correct? So that is how we will be answering these questions. Now, let's begin. The very first question is list possible outcomes. Now, in this particular spinner, which you see, what are the possible outcomes? The numbers 1, 2, and 3 are the possible outcomes. These are written in curly brackets. So we can write them as 1, 2, and 3. The second one is, which events are equally likely? Equally likely means they have the same chances, right? So they occupy the same area in case of spinner. So you can think about area when you work with spinners, okay? So which are the two equally likely events? Now you will see that one is small, so that will not work, then two. So this particular quart, this is quarter, this is one eight. You will notice that two and three are equally likely. See, if I shade, then you can make out that this is two, right? This is two. This is also two. So, so if you combine these twos, then 3 and 2 area is very close, correct? So we can say that the two equally likely events are to getting 2 or 3, right? So that event, event of getting 2 or 3 are equally likely. I hope that's clear, right? Since the area of 2 and 3 is same, what is the probability of getting 1? Now, if I see the whole, one occupies only one quarter of the place, right? So, this probability is one out of four, correct? So, probability is always a fraction, which is at the most one. So, it is between zero and one, right? Both included. So, in this particular case, one occupies one-fourth of the area. So, it will be one out of four. Perfect. Let's see other questions related to spinner in this video. The second question here is, again the same thing, we need to find what are the possible outcomes, how likely it is that a particular result will occur, and what is the probability of an event. However, this time we are doing different thing. We are designing a spinner. So the idea is to design spinner which could do all this that is to say a spinner whose possible outcomes are a b c and d that means we have divided into four parts and a b c d will be allocated to those parts then second thing is a and b are equally likely so a and b are equally likely and then we are also given a condition d is least likely right so that is what it is now, it can have many solutions, right? So, first thing is that uh, we want to make A and B as equally likely. So, let me first divide it into half and let's say, let's do like this. 
but we want d to be least likely you understand d is least likely and a and b are equally likely so what can you do so what we can do here is that we can divide a quarter into two equal parts for example right so let us say this is this is one quarter so i'm going to divide this into two equal parts and write a and b in those parts so this becomes a this becomes b as you can see a and b are equally likely perfect now we have to make d as least likely so let me reduce this area further right so let me say this much only i'm writing d here so d is now least likely perfect since the outcomes are only four a b c and d so all this rest area i can mark as c do you get an idea so that becomes a spinner where c is most likely a and b are equally likely and d is least likely so i hope that makes sense so like this you can design your own spinner perfect next question is for you now these things you know are same this is what we want to understand but again we are going to design a spinner now so again you have to design a spinner this time the conditions are that the outcomes are 1, 2, 5, and 7. There are four outcomes with these numbers. More likely to get 2. So this is more likely. So it's a big one. Least likely is 1. So this is very, very less, very, very thin. Equally likely are 5 and 7. So similar to previous one, I would like you to pause the video, copy this question, solve, and then look into my solution, right? So you, there could be many solutions, as I said. So again, what you could do is, it's always good to divide it into two parts first, and uh, preferably two equal parts, correct? So we get two parts. Now, we want to make least likely for one, equally likely for five and seven, right? So you can do like this. So we have five and seven as equally likely right least likely for one and more likely for two so we can just take away a small slice from here for one and leave the rest for two do you see that so it is a very easy way to make a spinner from the given conditions do you agree with me right so and that becomes the pointer right so that is how we can always design a spinner now here is a test question for you this is slightly more difficult now in this case we'll again look for possible outcomes or results and how likely it is that a particular result will occur and what is the probability of an event now in this particular case we are going to spin this spinner twice spin twice and then write the outcomes of sum. So the numbers are from 1 to 5. If you spin it twice, what sums can you get? You have to write those sums. How likely to get sum of 7? What is least likely sum? So that is what you have to answer. Perfect. So let us concentrate on finding the sum first. So if I spin it twice, it could land at 5 and then again at 5. So 10 will be the highest number. It could land at 1 and again 1, 2 will be the lowest. So I have all the numbers from 2 to 10. I hope you agree with me, right? So, so we get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 as the possible outcomes. So these are all the outcomes which we are expecting now the question is how likely to get the sum of seven now how do you get seven well there are 10 ways of getting up to 10 so there are all these numbers but to get seven how many times can we get seven we could add two and five three and four right so those combinations will get seven to you right so seven is like 
2 plus 5 is 7 or it could be 3 plus 4 right or 4 plus 3 right so that is how you could get 7 so get, getting 7 we don't have many combinations right so so more or less you can say it is less likely right it is less likely right so that could be one of the answers for us now I think you can get more sixes right six is combination of one and five two and four three and three right do, do you get my point so more combinations for six than seven so we will say this is less likely without getting into details right the third question is what is least likely now you will notice that we have numbers 1 to 5 1 to 5 and only 1 and 2 so these two are there so what is least likely now if you look for combinations 1 1 is least likely do you see that because sum of 2 so the least likely is sum of 2 you could say sum of 5 also there are three ones correct sum of 5 and 5 is 10 so least likely should not be sum of 2 but sum of 10 since we have three ones so you get get more time ones but less time fives there are only two fives here so the least likely will be the sum of 10 do you understand so that is a kind of tricky part so sometimes you know you may get a wrong answer for this but look here you got only one combination of making 10 that is adding fives and there are only two fives there is only one combination to make two but there are three ones so that makes it more likely than 10 you get my point so with this i hope you understand how to find outcomes and likelihood of an event when a spinner is given to us feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be great for me thank you and all the best